Hey, what's up YouTube? TMZ1313 here. I just want to talk about um, how do you find amps, uh, watts, or voltage from a, any given number. Alright, so um, with solar panels, you got to worry about that a lot. Especially if you have an inverter. You don't want to overload that inverter. So it's very important you know how much power something uses. So um, I'm just going to show you real quick. It's real easy. It's not too complicated. Uh, all you need is a calculator, or if you're really, really smart, which I'm not, you could use without a calculator. Um, so, fortunately, um, everything is proportionate to each other. So amps, volts, and watts are all proportionate. What I mean by that is you can either times it or divide it, and you can figure out something. So if you have the watts, which is P for power, and the volts, V for volts, you can find out the amperage. Now, let's say you only have the amps and watts, you can find out the volts. Or let's say you have the, only the amps and volts, and you need to figure out the watts. So everything's proportionate, and you can either times it or divide it to figure out. I'm going to show you a real quick example. It's really simple, all right? So, um... This is called the Ohm's Law Pyramid. Now basically what it is, is this. Now, I stands for impedance, and that actually stands for amps. Don't ask me why they do that, it's kind of confusing. And P stands for power, but that is watts, all right? So let's just, uh, maybe I should write it down there just to make it easier for you guys. Sorry. Sorry, my hands a little dirty. You like my little tan I got going on there from work? All right. Anyways, so this is how it works. You got this pyramid right here. And if you want to find volts, you divide watts into amps. So divide. So I got a little division. So you divide watts into amps. If you want to find watts, you times. So I got a little X there for times. Amps into volts. And you get your watts. Simple as that. Now, the easiest way, now with solar panels, like I said, and solar systems, you gotta make sure you're not overloading your system or whatnot. So, um, the easiest way that I gotta tell you guys is this little thing right here. It's called a kilowatt. It tells you your amps, watts, um, basically everything you need to know about the thing you're plugging into it. So, before you ever plug anything in, you could run it through this. And you could check if um, it's if it's gonna overload your system or not. Simple as that. Um, this could deal with 15 amps max, which basically powers just about anything. I've even powered a um, or used it with a uh, air conditioner unit, and it was fine. So, right here, it's kind of bright. Sorry, let me try focus. I have a 60 watt light bulb. All right. So we got 60 watts here. Let's just write this down. It's a 60 watt light bulb, right? Try and do this with one hand. All right, and our voltage is normal, 120 volts. That's about what we get out of our um, grid in the USA. It might be different if you're in Europe. It might be 220 or 240, I can't remember. So, there we got it. We want to figure out how many amps this light bulb uses. Simple way to do that without the kilowatt meter because if you have the kilowatt meter um then you don't have to worry about that but let's say you need to figure something out now normally everything has how many watts it uses but it doesn't normally say how many amps it uses so what we're going to do here is simple math we're going to, um so watts so right here and volts is right here so we're going to divide watts to volts all right uh where's my calculator so we're just going to throw this calculator on we're going to go 60 divided by 120 and that equals uh where is that 0.5 so this light uh light bulb uses 0.5 
amps. All right, and just to show you guys that it does use that, we're gonna take this. So on the watts, it's saying it uses 65 watts right now. We're gonna go to amps and we're gonna see how many amps we're using. See, uh, so amps, 0.53 amps. So we're just about there. It's a little bit more because of the um, the watts is a little bit more than 60. Now let's uh, let's just do it for. So we're at 60, basically 65. Let's do the math on that real quick. Let's see what we get. All right. So 65 divided by 120 equals. 0.54 amps. That's what the calculator is saying with the uh, ohm's law. And here, you can see we're using 0.539. So we're basically at 0.54. Now there is a little bit of variation, and that's only because, um, oh man, I just spilled my beer. That's only because of uh, heat. Heat uh, loses energy, it uses a little bit more, so um, there could be a little bit of variation. That's why I always add at least 5 to 10% onto the actual number, just to be safe. Um, also, anything with like a motor or something, it could be friction. So, um, but that is just about right. So if you want to figure out anything... Here are the equations. To figure out watts, you want to divide or times amps times volts. If you want to figure out amps, you uh, you divide watts divide volts. If you want to figure out volts, you um, do uh, watts divide amps. Simple as that. So I hope I helped this out, or I hope I help you out, guys. And um, check out all my other videos. Subscribe. Check out my channel. It's a really cool channel. Um, like, and I will talk to you guys later.